So now you could go straight to a main course, but I think for the special occasion, we gonna go into, you know, having a nice, comfortable, slow night. And I'm, I add a salad to this. We are going to use the famous um, avocado. We're gonna pair that with salmon now is you can buy already sliced of course if you feel you want to venture into slice your own you can do it that way get a nice avocado we touch it and make sure that it's not too hard not too soft we need to peel it what we like to do here is go right in the middle slice around all the way to the pit and just twist and open what I do is I just tap my knife in it give it a twist take it off done now I take the tip off this is the way I do it welcome to do it your way I slice it and I peel that way and there we are what are we going to do with this is we're going to present it like that I put in a push open it up most like a flower we are arranging some of the other slices this way we'll take some of this beautiful salmon you just tug a little bit it'll come loose and i just like to place it like that I like to add some of these Mediterranean capers they really for some reason add some uh, another great element to it I go back to my caviar I put in a little tap we don't need any salt you know the salmon the caviar already have that salt content so we are fine on that if you did want you could use some black pepper a little bunch of these wild rucola arrange some of this lemon a touch of olive oil and since we couldn't get the fresh figs we can still incorporate the figs into the dishes in this case i have a balsamic uh, vinegar glaze which is infused with figs and we use that we serve that with couple crostini or maybe one of these rolls with it and there you have your middle course Okay, now I'm going to proceed to prepare the ingredients for the main course. Uh, I did a little work in advance here, but I'm going to show you what I did. I, I steamed some of these asparagus, but what I like to do is I like to peel them 
starting at about a couple inches down from the tip I just go and peel just like that we know that towards the bottom of the asparagus it tends to be hard and woody what you do is you grab the asparagus and you fill it where it gives more and you give it a snap that is the part that is not edible the rest is perfectly fine especially when it's peeled again that's exactly what we need to do we discard that and what I did with the rest I'm going to slice it in pieces like that at an angle no specific reason just because I like it at an angle all the way to the last three inches or so leaving the tip whole. there you have that um, you get a medium pot on the stove you steam them with a little bit of sea salt in the water so just they to add a little flavor and um, just for a few minutes until they are tender but still crunchy and once you do that this is what you got you take some of the wonderful smoked salmon that we had before and we make strips out of that little ribbons like that so you could do this all in advance you steam your your spiders you slice your salmon again we need we're gonna need a little bit of garlic in this case I'm just gonna to give it a smash and I'm gonna leave it like that so you can fish it out at the end if you don't want to eat that all but you get all the oils and the essential oils that come out of the garlic I also chop some parsley I got a little sea salt for the water because the pasta is not flavored itself the pasta we buy in the store doesn't have any uh, salt in it so we flavor the water when we cook the pasta and I like a little kick so I'm gonna put a little spice into that a little spice into the whole evening you know what I mean and here are the ingredients let's go to the stove my water is boiling remember I like to add some of this crystal uh, sea salt I put about a tablespoon of salt. We're gonna add our pasta. I did about half of the box of this mini penne. Of course, you could do spaghetti, you could do linguine, you could do whatever pasta you prefer. We are going to start. Now remember, these are our asparagus are steamed, the salmon is smoked, so this is not going to take long. So, about the same time the pasta will be ready to and cook, the sauce will be ready. All of oil, we're going to start with that. And remember, we can always add a little bit. We're going to put our garlic, remember the garlic that we smash right there I like my little cake if you don't you can opt out but I call it a nice healthy pinch right there I can see when the olive oil start to ripple a little bit I'm ready to add my ingredients you don't want to overheat olive oil olive oil has a very low smoke point so it's not like a frying oil or anything like that. Once in a while you do want to give your pasta on a stir so it doesn't all clump together. 
we're going to add our asparagus. And our salmon ribbons right there. Not only aphrodisiac, good looking plate coming up. We only briefly want to cook all this to warm everything up. Just a little quick toss. We're gonna add some of that beautiful champagne again the champagne was at a different temperature I'm gonna leave it down alone a little bit bring it back this mini pain uh, only take about again the box might tell you it's a little misleading the box might tell you nine ten minutes I like to test my pasta I pinch it, I mean I've done this many times, so I can see it's not cooked yet, but I like to pinch and see when it's al dente. If it's al dente to my pinch, is al dente to my taste. Now, my pasta is drained, and I did reserve some of the water that was cooking in it, because the water really picks up a lot of the flavor of the pasta and a little bit of the starch. And I might need some to incorporate some into the dish. So I take my penne, and do the right amount there. I see now that I do not need any extra of the water, but I do want to add another little touch of olive oil. Some of my previously chopped parsley. And some pepper. I'm now ready to my pasta put a little bit of this wild fennel fern if you don't find fennel some dill or parsley it's also going to do the trick and here we have our penette with smoked salmon asparagus spears champagne sauce. Buon appetito.